Belgium, every year more than 200 youngsters between 16 and 25 are killed on the road. The main cause of this tragedy is dangerous and reckless driving. The Belgian government asked us to come up with a campaign to stimulate youngsters to drive safer and more responsibly. But youngsters don't want to be told what they can and can't do, and certainly not by the government. They have more ears for their closest friends, their peers. But then a lot of youngsters are afraid to criticise their friend's driving style. They're afraid of being called the loser, the weenie, the chicken. Our real challenge was how can youngsters make reckless driving discussable without losing their coolness? Our solution was to ask these youngsters one simple question. Do you know reckless drivers amongst your friends? Tell them what property you'd like to inherit from them. On a dedicated website, you could make up the will of your reckless driving friend. You could specify why your friend is such a reckless driver. For example, driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs, driving without a safety belt, etc. Then you had to fill in the property you wanted to inherit from your friend. His iPod, his mobile phone, or even maybe his girlfriend. After you'd made up a will for a reckless friend, you could invite other mutual friends to say what items they want by email or through Facebook Connect. For every friend that completed this will, the reckless driver got an invitation by email to discover his or her own will. Each time the reckless driver was confronted with the fact that his friends don't like the way he drives. To launch the campaign, we made an internet movie, which was a parody of a famous television show where real policemen confront reckless drivers with their driving style. In our parody, the policemen don't confront the driver of the car, but the passengers. They were asked what they wanted to inherit from the driver. In no time, the campaign generated lots of reaction on blogs, social networking sites and discussion platforms. Every big Belgian newspaper and both national TV news networks covered the campaign. To get even more people talking about it, we flyered more than 50,000 blank wills at the biggest clubs, movie theatres and mega events in Belgium. These wills were only distributed to the passengers and never to the driver of the car. The campaign launched March 25th, and these are the results from the first week. 10,366 people visited the website. 1,413 youngsters made up a will for a reckless friend. And in only one week, the internet movie was viewed more than 20,000 times on YouTube alone.